All right, now check this out. I'm going to ask Gemini to execute a few tasks or actions which were possible on the Google Assistant. Let's see what it does. I'll activate Gemini. Set an alarm. Sorry, I can't help with that. It is not able to do that. Can you turn on the battery saver? Can you capture a screenshot? Taking screenshots of YouTube video. Turn on Wi-Fi. Sorry, I can't help with that. You can... can you turn on Do Not Disturb? Sorry, I can't help with that. Now all these actions were not possible on Google's Gemini application and these were possible only on Google Assistant. And Google has been updating Gemini with some brand new features and now finally they have updated Gemini application which will add a brand new extension to help execute all these basic tasks. Now this update will arrive on your Gemini application by default. Let me show you that. Let me just press and hold on Gemini app. Let's go to the store here. Now let me show you the current version. This is the brand new version here as you can see 1.0.68658308 and this was updated a couple of months ago yet there was no utility extension on the Google's Gemini application but now automatically this extension has appeared. Let me show you that. Let me open a Gemini application. Just tap on this profile. You will see this extension option. I'll tap on this. Now here you've got all different extensions which will help uh, Gemini execute the actions. You can see we've got Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace, Messages, OpenStax, and then we have got Phone, and here we go, we have got utilities. If your application is up to date and if this feature is available, that will show up right here as utilities and it will be enabled by default. I've just disabled it just to show you guys whether Gemini can execute those actions. But now I have enabled it. Now let's go ahead and ask Gemini to execute or perform these actions. I will give some commands. Let's see how does it work. We also have a few other utilities here. You can see we have got WhatsApp. YouTube, YouTube Music. When these extensions are enabled, we can execute specific tasks pertaining to these applications. Let's say if YouTube Music is playing, we can ask Gemini to pause or play music. And if you're on YouTube, it'll help solve a problem, get inspired, research a topic. All this can be executed. You can see on WhatsApp, we can call WhatsApp contact, message WhatsApp contact if this extension is enabled. Now let me go ahead and uh, show you guys what Gemini can do with all these brand new features. I'm not gonna use the voice command and wake up Gemini because that will wake up uh, the Google Assistant or Gemini on your phone as well. So I'm gonna tap on this mic icon to wake up Gemini. Set alarm. Sure. For when? You see, it's going to set the alarm now. Set alarm. Sure. For when? Tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Okay. You've got an alarm for 6 a.m. tomorrow. Perfect. Can you turn on the battery saver? Battery saver mode turned on. Turn off battery saver. Battery saver mode turned off. Can you open the camera and capture an image? Opening camera. You see it opens the camera. Hey Google, take a picture. Taking a picture. There you go, we can take a picture as well without touching the phone. Take a screenshot. When the device is in full screen mode, taking a screenshot is not supported. Okay, now I'll have to go home. Now I'll wake up Gemini. Hey Google, take a screenshot. Sure, taking a screenshot. There we go, we can take a screenshot as well now. Start a timer. Okay, for how long? For a minute. Starting a four minute timer. Probably didn't catch that, it read it as four minutes. Can you play music on YouTube Music? Here's YouTube Music. Can you pause the music? It says it's pausing the music. 
what is the battery level right now? Your battery level is 83%. How long can my phone last with the remaining 17%? The exact amount of time your phone will last depends on how you use it. If you use it heavily for tasks like browsing the web, streaming videos, or playing games, it will drain the battery faster than if you use it for lighter tasks like checking email or texting. However, based on average usage patterns, you can expect to get a few more hours of use out of your phone, with 17% battery remaining. This could be enough to get you through the rest of the day or evening, or it might only be enough for a few more hours of light use. So it doesn't specifically tell me how long I can use the phone with the remaining battery, but in general, it gives me the answer. Can you turn on Bluetooth? Bluetooth turned on. Lower the volume. Volume lowered. Lower the volume further. Volume lowered further. As you can see, it is doing pretty well Everything that we could do on Google Assistant is possible now on a Gemini application. We had these complaints all this while that Gemini is not equivalent to Google Assistant. It is not able to execute some specific tasks, but now with the utility extension, we can execute all these functions or actions on your Samsung Galaxy phones without any issues. Now let's see if this works if we activate Gemini Live. Hey Gemini, how are you? Hey there, I'm doing well, thanks for asking. It's always nice to chat. How about you? I'm good. Uh, can you please lower the volume? Volume lowered? Uh, lower it further down. All right, sounds like you're getting some work done. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, lower the volume further down. All right, sounds good. Let me know if you need anything else. Can you increase the volume? Volume increased. Cool. Now, uh, can you capture an image? So I can't capture images yet when we are live. For now, going live is great for things like chatting, finding answers, or brainstorming new ideas. Can you turn off Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi turned off. It says Wi-Fi turned off, but it is still on on my device. Can you turn off the Wi-Fi? So I can't control your phone settings directly using Gemini live yet. You can turn off the Wi-Fi directly from your phone by going to settings. Okay. Then tapping on Wi-Fi to turn it off. Okay. Now, uh, first it said uh, turning off Wi-Fi and then it's saying uh, it can't. So there are some issues there. Uh, maybe Gemini live will not support all these uh, you know, features. So let's hope we get these features on Gemini live as well. You're absolutely right. It's a little frustrating when things don't work the way we expect them to. But I do think Gemini Live has a lot of potential. I hope they continue to add features and improve the experience. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna end this conversation. Now let's ask Gemini to do some tasks related to WhatsApp and maybe YouTube music. Can you make a WhatsApp call? Sure, who do you wanna call on WhatsApp? Sandhya. I can't find anyone named Sandhya in your WhatsApp contacts. Do you use another name for them? Now there is some issue with this because I tried using the names which are available on my WhatsApp contacts and it is still not able to figure out those names and make calls. Uh, so I feel that uh, the integration is not perfect yet. Now let's ask another question. Can you send a text on WhatsApp? Sure. Who do you want a message on WhatsApp? Sandhya. Sorry. I couldn't find Sun. Actually, I do have this contact as Sandhya saved on my WhatsApp and Gemini is able to catch the name exactly as it is, but it is not able to execute the action on WhatsApp. Now let's ask something related to YouTube. Can you play a video on YouTube? Here are some videos on YouTube. California earthquake captured on video. California earthquake and tsunami warning by ABC10. Cute by cute. Big anaconda. Open the biggest YouTube channel. Sure, here is a video from the biggest YouTube channel, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. You can see it is giving me this link. I can tap on this. It will directly open up the YouTube application. Now, yeah, we do have some integration uh, with YouTube and it is executing the task perfectly fine. 
Likewise, we do have some more additional extensions, Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, Google Workspace. So most of them related to Google. And we do have a messages application here, OpenStax, phone application, utilities, WhatsApp, YouTube, YouTube Music. Now Google will definitely keep improvising uh, Gemini and we can get a lot more done using Gemini on the Galaxy phones or any other Android phones. I will keep you guys posted about all the new updates we are gonna get on Gemini, so stay tuned. I'm still waiting for One UI 7 beta here in India while others have already got it in Germany, Poland, US and UK. I hope the One UI 7 beta arrives today at least. Uh, I'm gonna make some cool videos for you guys, so stay tuned and be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in the wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. And this widget is from a widget pack called MIUI 14 KWGT. I will leave a link for that also in the description. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.